neighbor. Oh my goodness. Friends, um, we've think, always had good neighbors. We've been very lucky because I've you hear horror stories about neighbors, bad neighbors, and we've always had good neighbors, the best. Um, my neighbor, his name's Tom, and I just think of him. <laughs> so we've like, had two two neighbors then named Tom. Which Tom are you thinking of? Fat um, Star Tom or Old Man Tom? Neighbor. I would say everyone is your neighbor. Okay, Mr. Rogers. <laughs> <laughs> Won't you be my neighbor? <laughs> <laughs> Neighbor, friend, <laughs> foe. <laughs> but I think I've watched too much TV where there is a foe for a neighbor as opposed to everyone being super helpful. I guess I could take it down a notch to <laughs> cordial. <laughs> I'll take it to cordial. Oh. Future. Oh, future. Future, you never know about the future. Could happen, anything could happen. We try to stay positive about the future and stay healthy as we can so that we can enjoy our future. Getting a job or something? I don't know. There may be flying cars in the future and everything's for free. I doubt that last part. <laughs> future. So bright. Um, Growth, getting bigger. Yes. Expanding. Expansion. Yes. Outer space. <laughs> Star Trek. Flying cars. Yes, the Jetsons. <laughs> I do think a lot about, you know, what will come with the kids, you know, and and seeing them grow up and the, what our lives will be like and who they will be and the things that they're, they'll be interested in. Possibilities. Hopefully good times. I like that. Let's hope for good times in the future. Because we've gone through enough the past year or so. Year and a half, right? Yeah, so it'd be really nice to be able the future to be looking bright. I like that. But I think of now too with the pandemic, uh, you look, is there a future, you know? If you look at the past, sometimes you can get see that these things have come and gone. Maybe our society wasn't prepared for this shock and they should have been, uh, but we can prepare in the future and there is sunshine ahead. We just have to take care of what we're doing now. Perhaps we've learned something from it that will make us better in the future. I think we're gonna, we learned a lot in this church about, you know, our services online. I think they've been really quite good. And they keep getting better and better. But we certainly looked at the future positively and we're gonna work to make it positive. Tithing. Oh, knew you'd get to that one. <laughs> you better talk about 10%, that. <laughs> well, that's what they always said. Give 10% of your salary or whatever. Um, and there's always a question, is that before taxes, after taxes, or whatever? Um, but it's something that people, I don't think that many people actually tithe. But I think it could be, like you said, an incremental goal to follow and to look towards. It's a good standard, um, but don't, I don't feel like it is a rule that I, I should follow. I, uh, I think it's maybe we should give more than 10%. What and I would add to that, it's not just your money, it's your time, because to me, your money is your time. And uh, the money you have represents the money you've earned or inherited, whatever it is. represents your time or your dad's time or your mom's time. time. And uh, that's important to look at too, I think, in tithing, because your time is your money. So when you earn so much and you waste your money, you're wasting your life.